ministry, you are praying. I've had a very clear experience in this regard before. I was in prayer. I was on my knees. I was calling on the Lord and Jesus Christ walked into my room and when he walked into my room, he said, come with me and my spirit left my body. I was still in that physical location. Are you with me? My spirit left my body and we went around Benway State on a tour. Went to a place and I was trying to describe the place where there was a grave and people revered the grave. People were still, you know, the grave was hallowed in the eyes of them. Uh, and I found out that it was the village of one of my pastors. Jesus took me there and Jesus pointed at the altar that was in that place which was built on a grave. And he cast it. Jesus, when he came to me, he was barefooted. So I was asking him, hey, master, how come you don't have shoes? Then that scripture came into my mind where God was speaking to Joshua and he told him that wheresoever the sole of thy feet shall tread upon, it, shall, it will be given to you as a possession. So we're going to possess lands. I was just a spectator. He was the one doing the, the things. He spoke to the altar. The altar fell. Then we vanished and appeared somewhere else. He spoke to that altar. The altar fell. We vanished again. We appeared somewhere else. He spoke to the altar. The altar fell. And he wanted to go and say, no, 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 no. You have not solved all the problems. There's poverty. Strange poverty in the land. That is making believers compromise. Making pastors lie solve the pro the same way you have attacked these altars solve the problem of poverty and he looked at me for a few minutes and he told me i will return but if you believe in me i will give you all things that's when he left and i recovered myself still on my knees i didn't change location in the natural but I had traveled the whole expanse of the sensitive places of Benue State. I forgot to ask him another question. How long will I wait before you, you say I should believe in you? But experientially, the, wait, the waiting period was from that time was, was 12 years. Because the things he said, we need to prosecute ministry. They have started coming. And if you calculate from the time that he encountered me to the time that resources began to come for us to do his will, it was a 12-year interval. So I experienced that. I, I was taken in the spirit. And if you study your Bible, you will see once and again where God comes and he takes his prophets. Like in the book of um, Ezekiel, uh, God wanted to show Ezekiel the source of the dilemma that was in his city. And he sent an angel, and the angel held onto his locks and bore him up between heaven and earth and took him into the temple. Then he saw the guys that he thought that were elders in the house of God. They were actually worshiping the sun. You see, at every point in time, it will be needful for us to understand that society is always a mirror image of the church. If we are fraudulent, then society will be fraudulent. If we manipulate people to collect their money, then the elections in our country will be about money. Everything that we see in society is a reflection of what has been accepted in the church. And so if God is going to judge society, the first thing he needs to do is to bring his judgment first into the church and purge the church. And if the church is standing in righteousness toward him, he will have a platform to stand as a reference point before he judges society. And I think you are well aware that the judgment that we are talking about that is going to purge the body of Christ has already begun in Nigeria. There are going to be diverse expositions of people that have secret lives of iniquity, secret lives of sin. That is weakening our corporate strength and giving us a bad rep reputation in the land.